Oh, am I live? <laughs> Probably not because, oh, there it just showed up on Restream so I can see myself there. I am Trevor Lund and I'm here with another tip to live light above the negativity. And in this tip today, I want to talk to you about how to fight with honor. So, <laughs> once again, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with these. I, uh, you know, cool black and white, white effect. Uh, I, <clears throat> I enjoy it. I think it kind of contrasts the color and the white that's on there. And um, honestly, the more people look at them, I, and that just astounded me. Like, I haven't done A-B testing, do the same video in color and black and white. But, boy, people seem to be watching these more. Could be the topic, I don't know. But anyway, I like it, so we're going with it. So, the verse that I am jumping off of today is Philippians 2, 2-4. to four. And again, this is Peterson's transliteration of Paul. And he says, uh, this is a good one, don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Make your, uh, put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with gathering, uh, getting your own advantage. Forget yourself long enough to lend a helping hand. You know, when I started, I was a young pastor and I started doing uh, uh, couples counseling. And yeah, I, I get tools. I, I, got, I got taught tools. I got very basic instruction in uh, seminary, but I, you know, I've been married a few years myself. I don't have all the answers. One of the things I did, the first things, I, I would have the couples go and write rules for the fighting, basically is what I called them. And um, it was, I, I soon learned, like couples that were premarital and had not been living together, their rules were ridiculous. You know, like, oh, we're never going to fight. <laughs> The ones who were seeing me because they had problems, they had they had brutal rules, boy. I just I had one. I'm not even gonna say everything they had in there, but boy, I just, after their just like it was like, don't break down the door when the other one slams it in your face. You know, don't yell through the door for more than three minutes. Um, and <laughs> seriously. <laughs> That's when I developed this tool and started giving it to people. But over the years, I found that this is just not for couples. Okay, this is, it's great for couples. But we talked about confrontation and what I've done uh, when I have time to think. And when I, especially when I have to confront someone, um, I'll go and I say, okay, these are the rules I want to have for this discussion. And uh, the rules are how to fight with honor. And I'll go through those in just a second. For couples, by the way, I haven't been able to try this with my wife, so I don't know for sure that it works, but I think it'd be absolutely brilliant. I, I was uh, I interviewed with some young couple. I didn't interview them. I was watching an interview. And they were saying what they do, uh, they, they basically dance through their discussion. You know, um, if uh, either of them can... Uh, can call a dance, basically. So yeah, they pull them the other one into the kitchen and they start dancing. And uh, you can't start the discussion until the dancing is going on. You do your best. You don't try to step on the other person's toes. And <laughs> no one can deny the dance. That was the other thing. So either can ask and no one can deny. So I think that that's absolutely brilliant. And I got to say, it's not that my wife and I haven't had a fight since I heard that. It's that when, uh, you know, I just forget. <laughs> and I'm ready to have it out. That doesn't happen, does it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, anyway, for couples, 
yeah, dance, dance out the discussion. Everyone else, use these tips to fight with honor. And if you want this in an infographic, just let me know and I'll tell you where to get it and how to get it. Um, but I'm just going to go through them quickly here. Uh, it's an acrostic. Honor is an acrostic. I spell it the Canadian way because I get another letter in there, the U, and it's important. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, I'm a Canadian, by the way, in case you don't know. Um, the H, the first H is you hone in at the topic at, at hand. You speak to the situation. This is what you did. This is why I disagree with it or it upset me. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about this topic. The O, the first O is you only speak words of life. You, you cut out the sarcasm, the condemnation, and the shame. Now, Listen, I have been working on a book for years. Every time I find a sarcastic comment by God in the Bible, I write it down. I'm getting a list of God, the times God is sarcastic and the times Jesus is sarcastic. Boy, Jesus is awesome. He uses sarcasm well. Um, so I, I think sarcasm is a good thing. Never, never, when you're having a confrontation, having a fight, Cut out the sarcasm. Condemnation. Remember what I've I've told you about condemnation, right? Like Jesus didn't come to condemn the world. We can't condemn someone else's servant. Don't, don't condemn. Shame, shame. Remember, shame is uh, guilt is on what you do. Shame is on who you are. Cut out the shame. Always, always, always. But in a discussion, don't let it come out. Call it. If, if shame is being used, okay? Um, anyway, H-O-N. The next, the, the N, is name calling and labels are never to be returned. I fully believe that when we resort to name calling and labels, it's the same thing as placing curses on the other person. Um, don't do it. Even if they started it, don't return it. Don't return it. I I don't like labels. I don't like being labeled. I don't like people using labels because they're not true. They're not true. They're a way to pigeonhole you and it, it's terrible. Stop doing it. The next O is you operate in the present. Operate in the present. You avoid saying you always and you never. Because no one always, always, and no one's never, never, never. Uh, you're physically present with the person. You, if, if you're physically present with the person, which you should be, uh, you know, disagreements don't, should not happen on a Facebook feed. <laughs> you're face to face. When you're face to face with a person, look them in the eye. Look them in the eye. Uh, reflect back to what you hear them saying. Well, I hear you saying this. Well, you said this, but it sounded like you were saying this. You know, you said it was all right, but it sounded like you don't think it's all right. Um, reflect back what you see in here. And then when they agree, that's what they said. Then you move on. Okay, so, um, you know, it's. I think it's, it's a wonderful skill to, to learn to say, okay, you're saying this, but it sounds like you really mean this. What do you really, what are you really saying here? Let them reflect back and then you move through. Okay, then you go on to the next point. Now the you, the Canadian you, uh, and it's so important, the next, the, the last you is to understand the person. This is part of the reflecting back. You listen to what they're saying. You reflect back what you think and you, they hear, and then you, you can, you continue. Oh, maybe I got ahead of myself for operating the present. Oh, yeah, I did. All that stuff I just said, it's for understanding the other person. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the infographic, I'll give it to you, and then it makes a whole lot more sense. And then the final R is you resolve the argument. Okay, it's okay to disagree. There's going to be some times where you have a discussion, you have a disagreement, and you realize you just you, there. There's no way for you to meet on this. It's okay. Everyone has a right to hold an opinion. 
just because for me my opinion doesn't matter as much as God's opinion like I've learned and this is tough because I want to defend God I want to set it right I, I am trained I've got years of experience to be the authority on scripture and if someone disagrees with me I just want to teach them something what the right way right you know what God has God has grace for me he's gonna finish the work he started in me he will finish the work he started in the other person I I trust him for that I trust him I trust him that that you know I I'll do my part when Holy Spirit tells me I need to talk to them or confront them even you know I will do it with honor and um, but I, I won't nitpick, okay? Uh, and that's part of this. Don't You don't go to bed angry. You don't bring up the argument with others to, to uh, rally their support or curry their favor. You continue to, to honor the other person. A lot... Uh, I can't say all, but anytime I've had to have those difficult face-to-face -face conversations, I don't... If I talk to my wife about it, it's to process my feelings. Otherwise, I'll just tell her, yeah, we had a discussion, it's settled. And she's learned to be fine with it. Um, especially if she's the one that told me, you have to go fix them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so that's how you fight with honor. Hone in at the topic at hand. Only speak words of life. Name calling and labels are never to be returned. Operate in the present. Understand the other person and resolve the argument. Can I pray for us? Heavenly Father, uh, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're going to give us the words to say when we need to give a defense for you. And Lord, often that's a time of disagreement. That's a time of conflict. That's a time. And Lord God, I just thank you that you'll give us the words to say. You'll give us the love to show. Lord, help us to know how to honor and to grow in that. And to have patience for ourselves and patience for others when they don't agree that they need to honor. So Heavenly Father, I pray... I pray for those who are watching this and have a difficult situation to work through. And I pray most of all, God, that they would have your peace so that they can share your peace. And they won't not have that conversation that needs to be had. But they'll do it with love and speak words, truth in love. And Lord God, it'll be for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, next steps. If you have not signed up for, I got to tell you guys, wow. Uh, last time I checked, we are well over uh, 2,000 views of the page. Um, I haven't checked how many people have signed up, but that has doubled almost every day. Uh, I don't think we're at 100 people yet, but we're getting pretty close. Uh, anyway, I am excited to be working on a new tool, and by working on means I had the idea, and I figured out how to do it. So now I just have to put the hours in to get it done. <laughs> tell you what it is. I'm going to turn that devotional into an audio devotional. And that audio devotional will be available at Live Light Audio. And uh, every day you'll be able to listen to that devotional as you go on your commute, as you go for your walk, as you go on your run. And uh, it's, it, it's, uh, uh, it is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, Sixth on my list of big projects right now. Maybe seventh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I 
get excited about things. Any uh, and um, what was I going to say? Like this video if you like it. Share it if you care. And turn on notifications next time you want to know I'm there. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, what what um. You have any more questions about uh, to live light above the negativity, please contact me and ask me. And if I, I will respond by email, and if it works out well to do uh, another video up, I will do another video up so I can help others at the same time. I have had questions come in. I guess the one question that came in was on uh, building yourself up with the Holy Spirit. What do you do when you're seeking after? Uh, the gift of tongues, and it just doesn't seem to come. I don't have an easy answer for that, uh, but if you'd like to know that, yeah, I can do up a video on that. I'll just state this. It, it won't have any kind of denominational bent. Um, I follow what the Bible says, not what denominationals, denominations insist on, okay? Uh, <laughs> I get in so much trouble saying stuff like that. Anyway, I, I can take it. Uh, God bless. And, oh, I just went over. Take care. God bless.